Welcome to Better Living with Adrian. We're joined with Darren Campo, who is Senior Vice President of True TV, but he's also an author of a wonderful book called Alex Details Revolution. We've had a series now for several weeks about finding your bliss and really making it into something tangible. For Darren, it was the book, but the point is about finding your happiness, even in the middle of a nine to five grind, is setting small outcomes, enjoying what you do, and, and don't think about the overall process. Right. In the case of writing, everyone a yeah. lot, and sometimes has the urge to write. They do a but lot of now, people. You know, you know, the, writing the great American novel is probably not the way to go. It's a big under task. You can write little poems in your Facebook updates. You can write a short story. And if you really want to write a book, I say to people, well, start out with a short story, a one-page story, because if you finish it and it doesn't go any further, then you then you have a finished short story, not an unfinished novel. Which is brilliant because you can do a lot with a one-page short. You could you could um, engage other people and say, hey, I'm going to write a one-page short story. Would you read it? Yes. You know, and get their yeah. honest feedback. And, and it's and it's really important. That's the other thing. You really find someone who enjoys your writing, someone who really wants to read it. And you should find other people you can encourage too, because it's important to do that. I think that's a great point, and you have mentioned this before, and that is how to stay motivated and stay happy. And it is through helping others, even when you feel very downtrodden and you you don't know. You know, I just don't mm -hmm. feel like putting pen to paper again or mm -hmm. fingers to the keyboard. It is reaching out and maybe helping a fellow writer or helping someone yes. that is also doing your bliss. Yes. So so now, all right, so what if we do kind of maybe want to continue beyond a one page? Uh, well, that's great. Then you just keep writing, you know, um, but, um, and, and try different things. You know, I probably wrote 30 or 40 different short stories before I actually got going on the novel. Now, is all writing good? Or what if it's a chore? I mean, you, you don't have to, don't worry about school, don't worry about writing, don't worry about grammar or spelling. Okay. If you enjoyed it, someone else is going to enjoy it. And that's all we have to worry about. And that's all you have to worry about. And so, so trust the fun that you are having at that point. I think this is a big point. A lot of people have asked me to put all my better living tips together. Well, that necessarily, it doesn't sound like the most enjoyment to me. So you don't want to do it, don't do it. Okay, I would rather compile those things in another way. So yeah. I, that is the biggest point. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. But if you do, your point is to just go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get started and give yourself small tasks. Give yourself a short story to write, you know, a little poem, uh, mm -hmm. some tweets, whatever you want. And then you can collect them and see where it takes you. And compile them. And after a while, once you keep going, you have a collection of something. You've got a collection of something, yes. And then maybe even a wonderful book like Darren Campos. How to find your bliss, how to make it work for your life, and that's better living.